The choice we make in 1968 will determine not only the future of America, but the future of peace and freedom in the world for the last third of the 20th century. The Trump campaign arranged for the first night of the convention to have the theme, Make America Safe Again. Conditions in the country are really different than they were in 1968, but where the parallels arise are you have this presidential candidate drumming home these themes about social disorder. As we look at America, we see cities enveloped in smoke and flame. We hear sirens in the night. We see Americans dying on distant battlefields abroad. We see Americans hating each other, fighting each other, killing each other at home. Keep dangerous people out of our country and secure our borders once and for all. And as we see and hear these things, millions of Americans cry out in anguish. Did we come all this way for this? Part of the reason this is at the forefront of people's minds is just what's been in the news lately. <laughs> You have seen the killing of police officers in Dallas uh, and Baton Rouge, that you've seen violence in the streets of a number of cities. What Trump identified at the very beginning of this campaign was this hunger within the Republican base uh, for almost a strongman figure. America's in trouble today, not because her people have failed, but because her leaders have failed. And what America needs are leaders to match the greatness of her people. The question I hear time and time again is where is America's leadership? Trump has said in a recent interview that he sees Nixon as somebody who understood some fundamental things about the country, that people were looking for order in the midst of disorder. What I did for New York, Donald Trump will do for America. We shall reestablish freedom from fear in America so that America can take the lead in reestablishing freedom from fear in the world. And to those who say that law and order is the code word for racism, there and here is a reply. Our goal is justice, justice for every American. I see this every day at street level, where many Americans increasingly have an uneasiness about the ability of their families to live safely in these troubling times. This transcends race, religion, ethnicity, gender, age, and lifestyle. America is a great nation. It is time we started to act like a great nation around the world. And with Donald Trump in the White House, we will make America great again.